also, I want to introduce you the management tools for the management of uh, the Samba domain. <coughs> but I want to dedicate my first minute of this talk talking about Samba 4 and the new future that will be handy for the Sentinel 3 servers. <coughs> first of all, I would like to thank the Samba team because the, the Samba 4 version and opens the gate for the integration between Windows servers and Sential, so we can migrate from those systems. And this is a big, big step for us because this is a, a, an important integration for, for our server. So thank you for those, this, this big work. This is slide, I will uh, talk you uh, a very quick explanation. I would like to show you the, the mainly difference between a Sential and a Windows Server system, that uh, both servers have the file sharing options, both can uh, have the, the printer sharing too, and then they can manage ACLs. But if we need to manage uh, the GPOs or, or make uh, an extended uh, configuration for the ACLs, we need to use the administration tools that are provided from Microsoft, but these tools are recommended by Samba. So I will talk about these tools later. So the main difference here are the integrated antivirus system and uh, a resikin b folder that this folder is used when you delete a, a file or, or a folder in a file sharing module. Instead of uh, completely delete for the system, the file or folder will go to there. And I, I think that the, the big uh, point here is that Sendial with Samba 4 is an open source and, and it's a license free and Windows Server not. OK, <clears throat> let's start with the migration process. This is our scenario. Uh, we will use a Windows Server 2008 release 2 as a domain controller. This is a server fully configured. And we use a Sential Server 3.0, fresh install with the latest Samba 4 version. This migration will include the joining process of our Sential server, the replication of data between the servers, and the demote process of the Windows Server in order to use uh, Sential 3.0 with Samba as a unique domain controller. OK. Our first step here will be uh, synchronize the servers and the clients um, using, for example, an NTP server, because uh, <coughs> we will need to synchronize for the Kerberos authentication. And after that, we, if we go to the general settings of, of Sentinel dashboard, we will need to set our domain there. And it will be the same domain as, as, the, as the Windows have. So uh, in this tutorial, we use kernabil.lan domain. OK, this is a good practice to check if Sentinel changed the, the LDF the end, so we must go to the users configuration and check that the, this has been set correctly with the um, domain that we have set up before. Okay, after that, we can activate the users model. This activation will perform the creation of LDAP database. Also, it will initialize uh, Kerberos Realm. 
and make an initial setup of the DNS. This is a, a screenshot of the Sentia log when you activate the use model. So after the activation, if we go to the DNS module, we can see that the domain that we have set before was preconfigured here. And if we go to the domain IP addresses or the host name, we can check that the IPs of the server has been preconfigured there. And I recommend you to se secure the server deleting the external IPs from here in order to make the DNS resolution only accessible for the internal network. Our next step will be to set up the file sharing. We need to, to select the server role. It will be, in this case, the, an additional domain controller. We need to set up the domain controller FQDN and the domain DTS server IP address. In our case, it's the same server as the primary domain controller that is the, the Windows Server one. We need to set up the administration password and the NetBIOS domain name. Also, we can enable roaming profiles in order to store the Windows preference, documents and folders, and the Outlook um, information. We can enable the drive letter too, so that letter will be used when the users access to the personal directory each time that they join the domain. <clears throat> this is an important check. If we make a DNS query resolution for the domain, this will show you the, in, in my case, this I'm looking for the Kerberos servers. So this is showing both servers in the domain. One is the central server, and the other one is the Windows server. But we can check uh, the previous step too in, in Windows Server. If we go to the users and computers um, management control, we can see if in the domain controllers uh, submenu that the last um, central server that we have configured appears as a domain controller. Okay, so this is the, the last part of the migration. You will see that this is a very simple steps. So the last part here, if you if we don't want to have the both systems um, in the same uh, in the same role as domain controller, we will need to shut down the um, the Windows Server and only using the Samba one. But we will need to use the Windows DC promo tool in order to demote the Windows server. So if we run the DC promo tool, a wizard will start and it will check automatically that the Windows server has a preconfigured domain and is rolling as a domain controller. So the option will be to demote the server only. Make sure that the checkbox that says that this server is the last domain controller is not checked because we want to have that the Sential 3.0 server rolls as a domain controller. So make sure that this is not checked. After that, it will start the demote and join the Windows system as a domain member, not, a, not a, as a domain controller. So. This was our last step here. And uh, in my last part of this talk, I would like to show you uh, very quickly the administration tools. That is the admin pack or RSCTAT. I have uh, linked the, the download links for the Windows Server version and the Windows Server 2008. So, 
these administration tools are recommended by Samba because uh, with these tools you can edit the GPOs or make a detailed configuration for the Samba domain. So you only need to install these tools in a Windows that must be member of the domain. And once you run the, the tool, you must select one of the domain controllers that are in that domain. So in this case, we can select the Samba domain. And after that, you have the same interface as you can find in, in, a, in a Windows Server administration. So uh, for my part, that's all. If you have any question or, or something you want to ask,